Hi guys, um, I'm just going to do a quick outfit of the day, then I have um, a slight rant, um, instead of just something that I want to talk about, um, but I'll just do my outfit first. Um, I have this purple dress on, and it has like these like darker purple um, diamonds that form larger diamonds, kind of. It's kind of hard to explain if you can't really see it. Um, like that. And um, uh, it's typically tied in the back because it's like a summery dress. But I tied in the front because I have on my blue cardigan. Um, super cute. Ugh. And the only thing I don't like about this cardigan is that it like, leaves like gross like fibers on my arms and it looks like I haven't shaved in like a month, but I shave every day. Um, and I just paired that with these cute little flats. Um, they're black with just a silver buckle. And then I, but um, anyways. Well, some of them. Um, and one of my friends, um, his name is Bob, and he, like, when I stood up at the end of Homer, he's like, you look pregnant. And, like, everybody else that's, like, sits around us. He was like, oh my god, you're so pretty in that. I'm like, thank you. And then, like, in other classes, people that I either don't talk to or just don't really enjoy that much, they even, like, complimented me. And I was like, oh. And, um, like, a couple of my other friends who I, like, because, like, after he said that, like, I knew he was joking, obviously, but I was, like, infuriated just that he said that, like, like, he purposely wanted to make me educated, and so I, like, told one of my friends, and she was like, honey, you look hot, like, you're hot right now, like, thanks, girl, but, um, anyways, that was my uh, little rant, rantlet, small rant, um, but anyways, there's something I really want to talk about, um, you guys probably don't know this, but I don't think I've talked about any of my other videos. But, um, I'm, like, in, like, I don't know whether to call it counseling or therapy, really. But, um, actually, I'm going there in, like, ten minutes. Um, for depression, and, like, it's, not it started, but I started going about two months ago, maybe a little bit more. Maybe less. I'm not really sure. But, um, I, like, I feel so good. Like, I actually like myself. And, I mean, I don't mean to say that to sound conceited or anything. But, I mean, I just want to say that if you know somebody, or even if you yourself are having problems with depression, anxiety, eating disorders, um, suicide, suicidal thoughts, and cutting and any kind of self-harm, um, or even just self-hatred and not even, like, self-harm, just, if you just don't like yourself, I would seriously suggest just going to talk to somebody, even if it's your parents. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, but if one of your friends is feeling like this, you need to get them help. And Maybe at first they'll be mad at you because you're telling on them or whatever, but you are not equipped to deal with this. You are not equipped to make them feel better. And I've been struggling with this for a long time, like four years almost. Um, and my friends have helped. Um, like, I know I can talk to them and everything, but they have their own problems, and if you're like me, you're somebody that your friends trust, and who they talk 
they talk to you about their own problems and then it just builds on you on top of your own problem and you're really not equipped to deal with their problems and your own especially if you're like me and you really take everything to heart like I don't know it's just it's really tough to deal with on your own and I know for me like I am like 5,000% better like literally I like I'm happy and that is something that I never could have said two months ago and it's just it just feels so good like you don't you don't even understand until you've really felt that and I mean I know like some people will write it off as teenage angst or being over dramatic but it's not and just if somebody is making you feel like you're not good enough you are good enough and if they don't like you that's their problem not yours because everybody is beautiful in their own individual way no matter what anybody else thinks I mean even if you think that you're ugly fat stupid you're not I mean there is something that you're good at and there's some area that you can excel in I promise and maybe you just haven't found it yet but you will and if if you're struggling with with anything if it's your sexuality or making friends anything you can talk to somebody and there are professionals out there for a reason even I, I know at least in my school we, in each because there's three floors of my school and each floor has its own counseling center and the social worker and like a house principal and a counselor and you can go and talk to any of those people like I'm, I mean at least in my area like there is at least one person in every school that's like a social worker or a psychologist or a counselor anybody that you can go talk to and maybe they'll even be able to refer you to another counselor like that's what happened with me and I mean it does get better I promise and I, I just know it's really hard to go and get help but I mean that's why you really need good friends I mean this my whole situation came about where I was my parents know and everything because of one of my really good friends and she was just concerned about me and I'm so thankful because without her I don't even know if I'd be here right now and without all the support I've gotten from my parents and if your parents aren't supportive of you or if they try to ignore it get yourself help or let them know that you know that you need help because if you need help but you're not getting it that's only gonna make you feel worse and um, especially with sexuality, I mean, there's, I know that there's at least a bunch of kids in my school who are, like, out, and, um, I just, I don't know how to um, put this into words, really, but, like, I think it's so adorable that they can go out there and be themselves, even if people are homophobic and are trying to bring them down and are trying to make them change and tell them that um, their choice is wrong but it's not a choice that's how you are and there's something about everybody that other people might not like and if somebody doesn't like something about you then they are not somebody that you need to be around and if that's happening to you you need to tell somebody about that too and just you'll feel so much better I mean even if you're 10% better that's better than what you started at isn't it and just just by reaching out to somebody even if it's some kid that sits next to you in math just say hey can I talk to you I just need somebody to talk to and I know that's really hard to do but you can, and I believe in every single one of you, because you're all beautiful.